This is the second largest media conglomerate in the world. It's also Rupert Murdoch's baby. But it's the screen, TV and movies like X-Men that have been making News Corp the bulk of its cash and not its newspapers. The lagging revenues of the print properties are dragging down the overall profitability of News Corp. And while there are certainly efforts of foot to change print, to revamp print, to find new monetization streams for print. Those endeavors cer certainly aren't going as fast or as nimbly as perhaps the shareholders might hope. People are doing this less and less, buying newspapers. The shrinking readership means companies don't advertise in them as much, making newspapers not as profitable as they once were. Further upsetting shareholders, the phone hacking scandal at News of the World, one of Murdoch's UK papers. It led to parliamentary hearings into the company's behavior and spending more than $350 million in settlements and legal fees so far, News Corp's reputation is taking a beating. So why would a savvy businessman like Rupert Murdoch want to keep newspapers as part of his empire at all? Well, it's his first love, as he's always said. Um, and he's a passionate individual. He often goes with his gut. He just still believes in newsprint. I mean, he still calls editors of a lot of his papers on a whim just to find out what's going on. He wants to get the news before everyone else does. So it's just a personal passion of his. And I think he's always looking for ways to, to kind of prop it up. Murdoch is not the only one. Even America's most famous investor, Warren Buffett, has been on a paper buying spree a sign that these rags may still have a future. Samir Hussein, BBC News, New York.